Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Engage and we're doing Chapter 16's Azure Clo Coast here. Um, so while planning their next move after getting a new ring, the Divine Dragon's army receives a report. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get in there. Um, I do need to do a quick save. And then let's go. With Emblem Corin added to our ranks, each country's rings have been collected. Right. No more rings in the wild. Between us and Sombron, they've all been taken. Let's consider the situation. There are five emblems on our side. Lynn, Lucina, Ike, Byleth, and now Corin. Meanwhile, the Fell Dragon's got seven in his grubby claws. Most of them are old allies. Marth, Sigurd, Selica, Micaiah, Leaf and Roy, as well as another emblem ring his forces stole from Lethos, the Azure Twins. To gather all twelve, we will need to face the enemy directly. Um, which one is that? Are you proposing we invade Illusia? The Azure Twins, um, that's going to be Sacred Stones, but is it, uh, let's see, what are the names again? Erica and, ooh, I'm blanking on it right now, the brother. Returning to Illusia already. Yeah, that's got to be complicated. Indeed. But that aside, invading Illusia now would be a mistake. They have a clear advantage. Seven emblems to our five. The worst case scenario is that they steal more of our rings. That's what concerns me. If that happens, we can abandon all hope of defeating the Fell Dragon. But the longer we wait to attack, the more likely it is they'll attack us. It's best that we strike first. One never wants to be on the wrong end of an ambush. But we're not ready to take the offensive. Rock in a hard place, huh? Pardon the interruption. Vander, what is it? Word from the port of Solm. A number of warships were spotted on the horizon. Judging from the crests on their sails, they appear to be Illusion vessels. They're attacking the Queendom again? No. In fact, the fleet sails toward Firinair. My kingdom. We'd better take a look for ourselves. Let's head to the Azure Coast. It's near the border, and it's got a clear view of the sea. <laughs> Smooth sailing. At this rate, we'll be the first ones in Firinair. It would seem so. I wonder why Zephia told us to go ahead. Our orders are to kill everyone we see, right? With this kind of head start, think of the body count we can get. We'll be heroes! Seems like Zephia's really taken a shine to us. Don't you think, Mavir? I do not particularly care. I have my orders, and I will follow them. <sighs> see, this is why I can't stand you. You never praise me, and you're no fun at all. I love how with like Chloe and Saline, they're like, you have to pronounce it Chloe and Saline instead of Celine and Chloe. But then they see Mavier and they're like, Mavier. <laughs> I thought Chris was bad. At least he's not the boringest man in the world. <sighs> Lady Marnie, Sir Mavier. You got something to report? Mavier. Two soldiers have deserted the fleet. Hmm. Perhaps they had reservations about the current strategy. We know who that is. That's going to be Gold Mary and Rosado. Whatever. Leave them be. We'll catch up later and beat the daylights out of them. Uh, but they took an emblem ring. Hell yeah, they did. What? Explain. As a precaution, we kept each ring on a separate ship in the fleet. These soldiers attacked the guard on watch and stole the ring of the Azure Twins. Are you telling me that the... Hounds don't have a ring each or something? You're just like holding them on a ship? <laughs> okay. Warships are already in pursuit. Hey, it's evened up now, six we and six. We will take chase as well. The ring must be returned at any cost. These soldiers, what are their names? 
Rosado and Gold Mary. There it is. Princess Hortensia's retainers? I thought those two were behaving themselves lately. No longer, it seems. Do we know where they went? Biding their time. They were headed to Solm by Wyvern. All right. Turn this ship around. Take us to the coast of Solm. We were in the lead. Okay, do we think this is going to be um, the Azure Twins then? Since that's the one we haven't seen any of yet? It's got to be, right? We're in Solm now. I think it's safe to say we lost them. Good job, you two. Perhaps we should pause for a moment then. I'm sure your wyvern needs to rest her wings. Good idea. Let's take a breather and then start looking for Hortensia. We have to make sure she gets the ring of the Azure Twins. Hell yeah. Indeed. Aha! There they are! Let's seize them! Is a few minutes rest really too much to ask? Let's get out of here, Gold Mary. All right, let's go save him and get that ring. That's an Illusion fleet, all right. And it does look to be headed toward Firene. We have to get there before they do. That'd be nice, but look. We've got Illusion soldiers on the beach. You want to attack again, huh? I'll give you a good old-fashioned Solmic welcome. That's not enough troops for an invasion. It looks more like a search party. Divine One! There's a Wyvern coming this way! They must have spotted us. Everyone, at the ready! Hold on! Rosado? Gold Mary! <laughs> hey, 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 no rescue needed. They came right to us. Wyvern for the win. Hortensia! You're not hurt, are you? Oh, I was so worried. Not as worried as I was! Oh, I'm so happy you two are alive! Nice to see you and your retainers back together again. The Divine Dragon! Watch out! Put that away, Rosado! I'm on the Divine Dragon's side now. My sister is too. Princess Ivy as well? Psst. If you're being held against your will, blink three times. I swear, <laughs> it's not like that. I wanted to join them, so I did. I made this choice for Illusia. Question is, as my retainers and my friends, will you join me? All right. If this is what you want, then it's what I want too. Whatever banner you're under, I will defend it with all my might. Good. I knew I could count on you two. Old Mary's um, gonna be the mom. One. Sorry for drawing my weapon on you. Here, this is yours. Mercedes was the uh, mom archetype in Three Houses. Gold Mary's the mom archetype in this one. Guaranteed. Is this... The Ring of the Azure Twins. We stole it from the ship we were on. Thank you. Good going. <laughs> I hope my dazzling abilities do not blind you. This is just what we needed. Restore calm. Emblem of the sacred. Be Erica. I want it to be Erica. The other one's Ephraim? No, no. Yeah. Erica and Ephraim? No, no, is it? It is Erica, though, by the way. <laughs> It is Ephraim. Erica and Ephraim. Okay. Finally, I am returned to your side. My name is Erica. I raise my sword in hopes that peace will come to this world at last. I know we can depend on you, Erica. Now, which of you should I give this ring to? You're both to thank for bringing it here. You ought to give it to Rosado. Rosado flew us here. He was instrumental in our escape. Hmm, that answers a you question I had. Mary, but there's no time to argue, is there? So Rosado is a he him then. Okay. Lend me the ring Good to and know. I promise I'll do my part. It's settled. Here you are, Rosado. Finally. This is where those thieves ran off to, right? 
By all accounts, yes. Now we sniff them out. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes JRPGs don't handle uh, characters like Rosado very well. They seem to be handling Rosado pretty well here. Um, but I was wondering if it was um, like a non-binary person or um, even trans or something. So I, <laughs> I wanted the game to say it first. Until then, I was just going to stick with the they, them, but... Okay. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully they continue to handle Rosado well. Um, because JRPGs don't always um, handle characters like this with a lot of panache, let's say. They can often be a little tasteless, you know? And derogatory. Um, okay, so we did want to change Corrin. Who did we decide that was going to be good on? I already forgot. <laughs> Let's figure that out first. Oh yeah, that Draconic Hex is so cool. Oh yeah, we wanted to try this on... Ivy, right? Yeah, I think I like that. Let's try it on Ivy. Corin, I believe in you. Okay, Byleth on Fram. Um, also, we never equipped those skills, so let's do that while I'm thinking about it, because you know how I am. I will not be thinking about it in two seconds and then forget it for three episodes. So let's make sure quality time gets put on Fram and Seedall. And I guess we can just scroll through and what? Yeah, see? Like, why am I forgetting to put some of these things on? It's so dumb. It's so dumb of me. The skills being left on the table. Okay, Lyra and Lucina, Diamant and Ike, I think we're okay with that. Ivy and Corin, Fram and Byleth, and Chloe and Lynn. We'll see who we're taking in here in a minute, and then we might have to do some more changes. Um, okay, it's one of these guys. Corrupted and Fell Dragon. So, wor will Worm Slayer work on you, or is Fell Dragon different than what the Worm Slayer would be effective against? Okay, couple of coverts over in those forts. Couple of mages down below. Some more coverts. This is a deep map. And it's Marnie here. She has a Master Seal. She has the Hurricane Axe, which is going to be magic-based. And a Steel Great Axe. Um, this is one of those Smash ones. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we'll be on a uh, timer, a turn timer for that. Almost guaranteed. So we're going to want some uh, fast-moving units. We're definitely going to take Seedall. There's an argument to be made to bring Bunei as our tank instead, just because he can move a little faster, but it's hard to leave Louie behind. He's just so good.
Okay, Fram, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you used up your heal. You can basically just hold on to things that you can also maybe trade to people. What does the steel hand art do again? So that one's, yep, just like other crit uh, or other steels, it's going to have higher crit. And this one does attack twice. Cool. I think the hammer is the right choice right now. Yunaka, yeah, you should pretty much be set up. Wodao, Steel, Armor Slayer. I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, Etie, we do need to do some trades with you. Okay, and Chloe is not in this fight, so we need to switch Lynn to somebody. Okay. Probably you, um, because of the speed bonuses. I mean, you've already got Alacrity. But, Lin is just really good on really fast units, so unless there's somebody else who's relatively fast. 18, I guess you're really fast. Speed is 24. Maybe we move Lucina to, some, Lucina to somebody else and uh, put Lin on you. Fram is fast, but you've already got some stuff. I'm going to try it on Saline. Maybe it doesn't make a ton of sense, but... It really doesn't make sense, though. It really doesn't. Nah, let Lucina keep... Uh, let Alir keep Lucina's Bond 8 abilities. And yeah, we'll we'll do Yunaka and Lin. Lin, leave it to me. Okay. Looks like Seedal still needs a ring, so let's make sure he gets something.
moments ago, the beach was dry, and now the water is up to my ankles. The Tons. tide here seems to rise and fall at a moment's notice. Try to keep me on dry land, will you? Ugh, I'd hate to be stuck tromping around in the water. All right, so what kind of... Ooh, avoidance minus 30. Okay, you're going to be just hitting straight 32s. Because this stuff ignores defense and resistance, as we've learned. Their speed basically guarantees that they'll never double, though. So, I mean, you're someone that I don't want to get hit. I am prepared. I live to serve. Our side's cuter for sure, but by the looks of it, theirs might be tougher. <laughs> Worry not, Rosado. With my power, you can punch through even the hardiest foe's defense. Oh yeah, we haven't even looked at you what she can do. You also call upon my twin brother's abilities if you like. Erica switches with her twin brother Ephraim to adapt to different situations. Cool. Okay. The sync skill Lunar Brace increases damage dealt in proportion to the foe's defense. That's pretty cool. So, Defense Breaker. Emblem Erica is a, a Defense Breaker. The Engage Weapon Rapier deals bonus damage against cavalry and armored foes. The Engage skill Sacred Twins enables the unit to invoke Erica and Ephraim's skills simultaneously. Um, the Engage Attack Twin Strike hits with both sword and lance, making it easier to break foes and deals bonus, bonus damage against the Corrupted. Okay, so you can switch. Huh. I'm here. Okay. Cuteness combined. Let's see what Rosado can do against this unit. That's pretty damn good with that twin strike. Ready and able. Okay, that'll all change. Shall we dance? <laughs> ah, great help. This is, this is the big unknown, is how long we're going to have to get to this. So I may be doing a north crawl. We'll see what happens with this south path, but um, we're going to be heading north, I think. All right. Let's go. Of course. wanted to see if that would do anything to the water. It My does not. My will is firm. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah.
There's the one who's gonna be going for it, okay? Hmm. Maybe I should have pushed a little harder. where I'm wishing that I had uh, Celica's ring right now. I'd be using that double tap right here. I'd go right here and I'd magic both of those guys to death. See what we can do about uh, dealing with this group right away. Nice, we like it. Emblem engage. You have the highest hit. I do need to keep in mind that this is something I can't pass, is it? Oh no, it's a thicket. It has avoidance. Eighty percent on the hit, thirty-four percent on the crit. You can do this, girl. All right, that's fine. This will hurt. A battle fit for Brody. Okay, I gotta make sure that this, um, that this guy isn't gonna... Okay, speed 12, speed 13, no double. 30, minus 12. Okay.
decent damage too. She actually has some damage output now. That's what I'm talking about. I thought I was going to have to dance to get to this guy. you could take a hit. Didn't realize I opened you up there. I won't flinch. Didn't account for that, did I? She was the first one who went, so we literally have to redo that whole turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> 
You can survive a hit from that guy if he survives. Is there a way for me to kill the bastard? I mean, I'm not even sure Rider's Bane can do it. When you have effectiveness, is it doubled damage? It's not tripled like a crit, is it? So if it's double damage, um, it would be 66 damage, which would be minus the 16, so it would be 50 damage, which would kill. Let's see if it checks out. I feel wonderful. I don't know what the calculation is then. Oh, so if it's a straight 33, this is literally doing exactly 33. It just completely ignores defense altogether. So in this game, instead of doubling, effectiveness just means ignore defense or resistance if that factors in. Huh. Um, I, this is probably going to be another rewind because now I can't finish this guy. I don't have anybody else who can reach him. See how that goes, because I think that uh, Fram can take a hit. So I think Seadol in this case is the one who's in the most danger. No, I need you to do this still. So is there anybody who can reach that other flyer? Should have checked hit chance, but <sighs> when they're that close, I sometimes look at them and assume it's a kill. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, well, we'll see how it plays out. It's frustrating. It's a stupid mistake. Allow me. Could have easily been avoided. Why do we repeat our mistakes? Good fight. I got you. Man, now the big guy's gonna kill him. Only 70. Could have missed. <laughs> the fuck is happening?
I could get fucking everywhere, dude. Okay, here's the order of events. We do that. We dance Yunaka. Hope that Lin's ability can kill this other one. Quick change. Now I have you. Decent level up. Oh, we haven't even dealt with this guy yet. <laughs> that's why I was like, why can't I get where I'm going? There's an enemy right in my way, that's why. No one desires war. All you'll be able to do because you can't move right now. If anybody's gonna get frozen, I'm glad it's you. All things considered, you can you can take hits from these guys. We still can't move, but we aren't going anywhere anyway. Um. Okay, he has Rider's Bane, but he's not going to be able to get to anybody that's useful on. 
but that means you have to attack from melee, and that means that I get to Rider's Bane you back. <laughs> and uh, mine's going to be better than yours, my friend. Okay, a couple of swords down there. Oh, you're still in the water. My bad. Maybe I should have just brought him in and done great ether. I need to learn how to use that better. I think we came out on top on that one. I thought I did come into range of that guy. Those guys didn't move forward? Okay, weird. did it again i need to i need to actually look sometimes like i i look at the health bar and it looks like it's gone and then they're left with one hp it's fucking dumb it's a stupid mistake for me to continually make didn't need to take that damage Level three. Should have known. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. What can I do about these mages? So Lunar Brace to Solar Brace. 20% of foes de- oh, that's right. If unit initiates combat, unit recovers HP 30% of damage dealt. Okay. How much damage are you going to take back here? Maybe that's the one we want? Yeah, let's, let's switch and do that. Can I switch? You know, I don't even know. This might... Okay, we still can't attack. Good. Interesting. So that took up our bar to do that. Looked like we were healing nine of this HP. Here it is. are strong. Wow, we're getting surrounded. some of you are going to get stuck in the water this next turn. That could be 
quite problematic, but we'll see. Looks like you're gonna make it out. All right, we need to figure out what we're doing here because this is a mess. So you have wind. You're probably going to need the 50% damage this turn. Probably dumb. So the water thing keeps them from moving. You don't have a throwing axe, so we just put her in a safe position. So that works out quite well, actually. Okay, so the killer is actually your highest avoid. Shit. Um, no mages can reach you. And if the killer's the best one, I think that's what I'm gonna leave you with, even though I could do a little bit of damage right now. Now, if I, I leave fight. you here... Lend me your strength! It'll be better to keep you from getting broke. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, Izhar Mella, Bracken, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.